Thank you for seeing me, doctor. I'm interested in learning more about fibroids in my uterus. What exactly are they and how did I get them? Well, Rachel, fibroids are muscular tumors that grow in the wall of the uterus that can cause symptoms like heavy menstrual bleeding and also pelvic pressure and discomfort. Some women experience these symptoms amongst others, while some women actually have no symptoms at all. The most important thing to remember is that fibroids are non-cancerous benign tumors of the muscle of the uterus. I've been experiencing a lot of pressure on my bladder and I have to go to the bathroom more too. Is that normal? Yes, Rachel. These are also common side effects of fibroids. The severity of your symptoms often depends on the size of the fibroids, the location, and the number of fibroids. One woman can have quite a few symptoms and have a tiny fibroid inside the lining of the uterus, while another may have four or larger fibroids that mainly cause pressure symptoms, and every woman has a different experience. Why did I develop fibroids? We are not certain what causes fibroids, but we know they are very common, especially in the premenopausal woman or women under the age of 50 and especially in the 40s. Some women have a higher risk of developing them based on age, family history of fibroids, obesity, and other risk factors may present as well. Women of African-American ethnicity, like yourself, tend to be at higher risk, which is an important consideration as well. Are there different kinds of fibroids? Yes, there are actually multiple types of fibroids and categorized based on whether they grow inside the uterus, close to the lining or within the lining of the uterus, or on the outside. They can grow within the uterine wall, or if they do grow outside the uterus, they're called subserosal, or inside the uterus called submucosal. They're almost always benign and can shrink and grow throughout a woman's lifetime. And how did you know that I have uterine fibroids? Well, I took your history during our conversation, and based on your symptoms, I suspected there was something else going on which prompted me to do a pelvic examination. The pelvic examination revealed that your uterus was larger than I expected, and therefore I suspect that you had uterine fibroids. The next step to confirm this is to do an ultrasound, which can show fibroids and their location, and sometimes we even have to do special ultrasounds, which are called saline infusion ultrasounds, or even an MRI. And then what do we do? Do I have to have surgery? I don't want to be in pain anymore. We continue by deciding on a treatment option that best suits your symptoms, your lifestyle, and most importantly, your desire for future pregnancy. Today, more than ever, we have many options available to you, which include medical treatment with certain medications that might relieve the symptoms or even shrink the fibroids themselves. There are many procedures we can do that can help retain your uterus along with your desire to conceive. And also there are more definitive treatment options for women who don't want to take medications or the other options, and that includes a hysterectomy. Well, thank you for bringing that up. I do in fact want to have a baby eventually. How would this disease affect my pregnancy? Although some women have problems during pregnancy or delivery because of uterine fibroids, most women actually have normal pregnancies that are uneventful. In your case, we would try to manage your fibroids with medications and rather than removal of the uterus so that we can hopefully help you achieve a normal pregnancy. We want to make sure that you have the best options available for you so that you can move on to have a healthy and safe pregnancy in the future. That's great news. Thank you so much, doctor. You're very welcome, Rachel, and I look forward to seeing you at our next visit to discuss our treatment plan. 